Last year, remember we went to the Catskills? We went to the farm. Well, you wouldn't want to do that again? Um. It's time to go in and milk the cows. I don't like it. The Catskills was not a good idea. OK, that's enough. Farming was terrible. I didn't like no cell service, and I was just in the middle of nowhere. To me, relaxing and spending time to get would be no, like. No, no, no. You chose the Catskills last year, so I'm choosing zip lining this year. All right. So we're going to go zip lining in the forest in the middle of nowhere. And I shouldn't be scared, because I will have a harness and a helmet. Just pray to the spirits. They'll guide you through the zip line. I don't know. Well, all I'm going to say is that somebody's wearing a necklace and a bracelet in memory of someone. That's all I'm going to say. Do you wearing the bracelet in memory of someone? So my name is Teresa. Hi, nice Emily. to meet you. My mom and I were just coming to get a cup of iced tea here. And I noticed Teresa right away, probably because of her hair. As soon as I connected myself, I was shown that there was a, a young male. And then I heard that someone was wearing a bracelet in memory of them. And then they showed me an engraving of the bracelet. And who's that for? My dad. Perfect. And who is this? I'm her mother. Oh, perfect. So it would be your husband. How do you connect with the number 14? December 14th. This is his birthday. Perfect. At first, I was like kind of skeptical. And then she started bringing up things like the number 14. So when she brought that up, it was like a little weird. And I was like kind of freaked out. Your dad's thanking you for the amazing and beautiful tribute, what you wrote about him. But then did you write like, um, like a college essay about your dad? When I was four years old, my father passed away. So I don't really remember him, but I remember we had a birthday party and I kept asking my mom where he was. And then I think that's probably when I realized that he wasn't <laughs> coming back. I wrote a lot about him in the essay and how growing up was really hard and how my mom was a really big support system to my brothers and I. Your husband says, you worry if I suffered. Is that correct? Yes. He keeps saluting me. So is he a fireman, police officer, or did he pass in 9-11? Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. 9-11. My husband passed away 13 years ago on the attacks of 9-11. He worked on the 104th floor of Tower 2. Did you miss a phone call from him, or was there something about the phone? Because he says you feel that you did not get to say goodbye to him. I was on the phone uh, with a friend making plans for our daughters to play in the park, and we didn't have a call waiting, and he was trying to call me. I finally got through. He said he was OK, and you know he said he'd talk to me later, and that was it. Never did talk to him later, because who, who knew that the tower, second tower would be hit? Your husband says you carry him every day in your heart. And even though you physically did not get to say goodbye, the things that you have said to him, he did hear. How do you connect with Paris or France? You like it? I took her for her sweet 16. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> but that's something that you feel that your dad wouldn't know about, right? That he missed out on. So know that when you went, he went with you. He hasn't left you. Everything that you do, he is a part of. And he says, I don't want you to worry that I'm missing out. He was trying to talk to me through her, somebody I'd never met. It's like, it's just amazing. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I want to wish you all the best. I'm very sorry for your Thank loss. You. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Good luck to you. I wish you all the best. I'll never forget what Teresa said to me and all the stuff that she knew and that he's still here. It's, it's just, it's so comforting to know that. And I'm really grateful. Do you think zip lining is a good idea? It's fun. I went it's last fun. year. You did? Yeah. Did you really have to wear a harness? You wear a harness. I was uh, about 200 feet off the ground. That's not that far, right? Is that far, 200 no. feet? OK. Zip lining it is. I just validated it with spirit. To zip lining and relaxation. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. Come on over to the safety briefing station. Today, Victoria and I are taking our girls' trip, and we're going zip lining. I'm the park manager, Evan. And without any further ado, what I'd like you to do is to take both of your clips over your head. 
One will actually always be unlocked, the other one will always be locked. Always be locked. However, the difference is they're gonna alternate. So the next time this one's gonna be locked and this one's gonna be open. They're gonna go back and forth. Clearly, I had no idea what was gonna happen today. So when you come through Blue Tweezel, you're going to take off your zip line trolley, which is on your belt loop. I didn't know these harnesses were gonna be so elaborate. So when I get a blue, I gotta take off my zippity thing. I'm thinking I just put on a little belt, climb up a ladder, zip down the zip line. Unlock clip, tweezel it, lock it, put it on here, and then take the unlocked remaining one okay. and put it on your belt. All right. I mean, right now, Vic and I like tweezel D and tweezel dumb. Oh boy, I'm getting distracted. Here you go. Yep. Can I ask you? Wait, who's no. that? Do you have a tattoo in memory of someone? Yes. Okay. I'm a medium, which means that I'm able to connect with people that have crossed over, and you have a lot of energy behind you. My name is Christine. I recognize Teresa and her daughter Victoria when they came into the park. I'm a huge fan of the show. I heard that you have tattoos in memory. Is that correct? So there is a mother and a father energy that do stand here next to you. I lost my grandparents. Okay. And do you have something in memory of them, like almost like a cross mm -hmm. and then a four leaf clover? Is that correct? I do have a cross on my leg with a shamrock in it. Oh my God! Me too. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Oh my! <laughs> when Teresa asked me out of the blue if I had a tattoo, which I do, um, kind of caught me off guard. The four-leaf clover is inside the cross that she had mentioned, so for her to inquire the two of them together and know about that was really crazy. Your grandmother is, um, she's very strong, because she says, don't you lose faith. Do you understand that? Yeah. My mom is going through stage three breast cancer at this moment. She was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 14. And uh, there was a point in time where she got really bad. So not that I lost faith, but I was losing it. It was very hard. How do you connect with the rainbows? Wow, just the other day when we had that crazy storm on my way home, I actually posted, I followed the rainbow all the way home. Validating for you that you're never alone <sighs> and knowing that your prayers are heard. Your loved ones are loving and guiding you, protecting, and more importantly, watching over mom. I can't even describe how I felt, but this is definitely the most memorable day at work for me. I will never forget this day as long as I live. Thank uh, you so much, Teresa. Oh my God, so nice meeting yes, you. Yes, likewise, it was uh, a pleasure. I wish you all the best, Thank and I will keep so, so your much. mom in my prayers.